Richard Smith was transported here to Grady Hospital around 2 yesterday afternoon. He was eventually taken to intensive care where he died some hours later of internal bleeding. As you might expect, the description of the handling of his case varies greatly depending upon whom you speak to. Richard Smith's last day began here at the Mount Calvary Elderly High Rise on Richardson Street. According to residents, Smith had spent a pain-racked night. When the manager found out, she called Grady. The problem, according to June Pittman, was not slow response, but an ambulance attendant who apparently didn't care. Her statement to me is that he don't want to go, that she, she doesn't have time to be bothered when she has other things to do. I tried to explain to her by him saying that he didn't want to go is that he did not want to die in the room. He wanted to go to Grady. Then she still refused and she left him. Did you say that you would take it upon yourself to be responsible? Yes, I did, and she still refused. She says that I cannot take, I cannot be responsible for other people's life. It took a call to police to get another ambulance to get Richard Smith. Grady officials defend the handling of the case. They say they have to take a patient at his word if he doesn't want to go to the hospital. In Richard Smith's case, the ambulance attendant said Smith and the people around him were belligerent. Uh, I think that they probably took every step that they could uh, to help the patient. But I think the bottom line is if the patient is refusing treatment, then there is very little that we can do uh, to give that patient treatment or indeed to transport them to the hospital. Are you satisfied with the disposition of this case? Perfectly. According to preliminary examinations by the coroner, Richard Smith had been very sick for a long time. Doctors told me he needed treatment months ago to be saved. Perhaps it was attitude that killed Richard Smith. The attitude of an ambulance attendant who has taken too much abuse from too many people who tried too many times to take advantage of Grady Hospital. And this is a tragedy that could easily happen again. For as long as Grady is saddled with insufficient budgets and an overworked staff and people who cannot get regular medical treatment elsewhere, the attitude that killed Richard Smith will live on. From the Mount Calvary High Rise, Mark Picard, Action News.